Comedy and today I'm going to be talking to you about how I steam my hair without having to use an expensive steamer. Now a steamer can set you back anywhere between 80 and 200 pounds actually for a steamer. They go upwards of that. But you can get a hooded dryer for, I mean, I purchased my hooded dryer for 17 pounds um, and I've had it for absolutely years. It's never failed on me, it's never croaked and it works the same as it did on the day that I first got it. Um, now, what are the benefits of using steam as opposed to actually using just a hooded dryer? Now, a hooded dryer basically provides dry heat. Um, now, imagine the scalp is actually part of your skin. It is part of the biggest organ in your body. Um, and just imagine doing a facial with just applying heat to your face. Um, compare that to steaming your face. You know, you get rid of impurities, your pores open, um, any nutrients that you've placed on your skin are able to go in, any impurities are able to be sweated out. So the way that the steamer works is that it opens up the follicles of the hair shaft, um, allowing impurities out and allowing any essential oils or um, fatty acids, etc., that you apply to actually penetrate much deeper than they would if you just use dry heat. Also, it opens up the shaft of the hair, the warmth opens up the shaft of the hair, allowing um, um, the oils to penetrate. So the oils that I use for when I steam my hair are first avocado oil, premium. Um, I usually actually use a different brand, but it was out of stock um, when I went into the store. It's normally a deeper green avocado oil that I use, but hey, I, I needed to steam my hair, so I picked up what was at the store. Now let me just tell you a bit about the benefits of avocado oil. These three oils that I'm going to show you that I use in my hair are one of very few oils that actually penetrate the hair. Now many oils that we will use, so for example castor oil etc, the molecular structure of them is too large for them to actually penetrate into the hair. But they're still beneficial, they allow your hair to be more flexible, supple, they prevent breakage as a result um, and they keep the, the cuticles closed. The, 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 the weight of them keeps the cuticles closed um, and prevents things such as high growth fatigue, which is where um, when you have too much water absorbed by your hair, it will break. So oils are great for your hair, but there are very few that actually penetrate into the cuticle and go into the actual hair. Now, Avocado oil actually contains vitamins A, D, E, and K. It contains vitamin B1, B3, B6. It contains magnesium, zinc, calcium, iron. It contains folic acid. It provides UVA and UVB protection, which obviously prevents um, sun damage or slows sun damage of the hair. Um, and it also contains amino acids and proteins, which is fantastic. Of course, your hair is made of protein and um, any oil that contains a protein or amino acids, specifically amino acids, is going to be great for your hair. Um, the other unique thing about avocado is that it contains carbohydrates and sugars, um, which are also beneficial to your hair. They're moisturizing to your hair. They help you to retain moisture in your hair. That's why, for example, lots of moisturizers, lots of conditioners use glycerin. So avocado oil, aside from all those great properties, of course, is able to get into your hair shaft, as I said earlier. The other oil that I'm using is unfiltered virgin, extra virgin, excuse me, olive oil. Um, I managed to get the unfiltered, which means that it's got more chlorophyll in it, which is beneficial for detoxifying the hair. Um, again, this prevents um, dandruff increases manageability. It actually contains omega-3, 6, and 9, and again, is able to penetrate the hair. And finally, the last oil which I will be applying to my hair is this virgin coconut oil. Um, it is cold pressed and that is really important because if it is um, not cold pressed it's likely that a lot of the vitamins and minerals that are naturally occurring in your coconut oil will be diminished. Um, now I actually get mine from a place called Sheer Cottage um, and the thing I love about this company is that 10% of the proceeds actually go towards supporting a cooperative in Ghana so thumbs up for that. Um, now the coconut oil 
Um, actually, whilst it does not contain a protein, it prevents protein loss from the hair. It is able to bind proteins to the hair to prevent them from being lost. So obviously if I'm applying avocado oil, which has got proteins and I've got my coconut oil, it is helping it to stay bound to the hair. The other thing is that it is well known for its antiviral, antimicrobial and antifungal properties. And a lot of people on the islands from time when their baby is really young, they apply coconut oil to their skin because it is known to offer protection from the sun. So of course, with some around the corner, it's a definite, definite plus. It also decreases um, itching and flakiness of uh, the scalp. Um, it is very good at getting into the follicles and it's got a medium sized triglyceride chain, which means of course it is able to easily penetrate into the hair. So all around positive. Then I'm gonna be applying my favorite essential oils. I have here, ooh, I have here my rosemary, my rosemary oil, my peppermint oil, and my lavender oil. All of these um, have great properties. I think that uh, my favorite is the lavender for its scent. Um, rosemary is supposed to be fantastic at helping to define your hair and bring out curls, etc. It is also very stimulating for growth. Um, and peppermint is actually known to be a balancer of the pH of the scalp. So that is always a positive. Um, and the other tools that you will use for this are, I have a black um, hair turban. I actually managed to find this at the one pound shop. So it was a fantastic find. Um, and it, the base, it basically looks like that. I know the one that I have is black. It did come out of this packet, but they've only got, seem to have one picture on the front, regardless of the color that comes inside. So um, you will need a turby, or you could even use like one of those small flannel towels that you get in, you know, towel sets. And then you will need a plastic hat. Now, I also, once I have um, heated up my towel and um, added some water to it, etc., I also then go in with my hooded dryer for um, extra heat and to allow the, the steam to be generated for a longer time. So that's optional. You don't have to do it. You'll still get great, great benefits. So I'm going to show you really quickly how I apply my um, oils to my hair. First thing I'm going to do actually is I'm going to decant my um, coconut oil. Now you need to warm this up for it to be a liquid. I generally put it into warm water. Again, you don't wanna put it in um, to any water that is too hot, otherwise you're going to deplete the amount of vitamins and minerals, etc., in the in the coconut and deplete the benefits to your hair. So first I'm going to decant uh, my coconut oil, just to show you what I'm doing, into a small jug. So here I have an applicator bottle um, and this just makes it easy for you to apply it to the scalp and massage it through. Um, you can get this from a beauty supply store or you can get this um, from a previously used dye. I think the accelerator is kept in this. So I'm going to fill it up maybe about a third with my olive oil. or maybe just under a third with my olive oil. And then I'm gonna do the same with my um, coconut oil. And then I'm going in with my avocado oil. <laughs> okay. Once I've done that, I'm just gonna add a couple of drops of my um, favorite essential oils.
One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, then I give it a good old shake. And I'm simply gonna place this in a cup of um, warm water and allow the oil to heat up. In the meantime, I'm gonna get into suitable clothing because I do not want to be getting oil all over this. And then I start by simply um, adding the oils to my scalp. I do that and then I massage it in. By the way, this oil is basically um, what I put into my conditioners when I do a deep condition. Um, either I'll add these oils separately or I'll pre-mix it. Say for example, when I'm doing um, a steam or hot oil treatment like this, um, and then I'll put my um, deep conditioner into my hair with my oils. The other oil I like to add is castor oil. And then I will put oil through my hair, concentrating particularly on the ends. And the reason why you want to put it down, especially at the ends, is because you want to make the ends very supple and um, basically decrease the likelihood of any breakage. Okay, if something is hard and unflexible, it's more likely to break. But if you um, manage to get it smooth and supple, then you're less likely to have breakage. <laughs> And what you're going to do is you then want to place a towel over your hair, simply twist, look, you're a cute little toby. Okay, and then I tuck it under. Hope you can see that okay. And then immediately apply my plastic hat. Now, you can then either go for a towel, okay, a warm towel that's been placed on the radiator. You can either apply a towel like so, or you could then use a hooded dryer. So I'm now going to sit under a hooded dryer for about 20, 25 minutes. This is a hooded dryer I use, fabulous. I got this for 17 pounds. Uh, 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 do you want that kindness? Let me help you find this. I'll show you where I get it from. Open up your eyes, man. See, Jesus is the finest.